Hi there, today we're going to be talking about the different methods of transportation that a river channel can undertake to move sediment around. At all times, the river is either eroding sediment or depositing sediment, and this is dependent essentially on the amount of energy that the river has. Of course, this material is often moved by the river, and the river does this using one of four different methods dependent on the particle size. First is traction. Now, traction involves larger particles, such as boulders, being rolled along the bottom of the river bed. You can imagine how heavy a larger boulder is or larger bedrock is and therefore this method is most common when the river has a lot of energy such as when the river is in flood. Second is saltation. Saltation is similar to traction but this process involves the movement of smaller particles that are often pebble sized that are bounced along the river bed rather than rolled and this is due to them being smaller in size and therefore lighter and therefore the water has enough strength and enough energy to bounce them rather than just slowly roll them. Third is suspension. Now suspension involves very small particles like silt and clay that are carried along and suspended and held within the water. So these particles are much lighter and therefore the river has enough energy and strength to pick them up and carry the particles along. This process is often what makes a river look dirty in its appearance. Finally, you have solution. Now solution describes the process of rock particles such as limestone or chalk that are dissolved by the river water and therefore we cannot see this process with the naked eye due to the rock particles being so small after being subjected to this dissolving process. So to conclude, we have four methods of transportation, traction, saltation, suspension and solution.